Okay, I started to rush through this video, and I re as I went back and looked at it, I realized this thing is worth a little bit more time than I was giving it. So let's, um, I think what might be a good idea, if you don't mind, if you could just stop the video for a second, take these notes right here, take these notes right here, and then kind of restart the video, and I think this will really, really be helpful, because this idea of limits as x goes to infinity is actually a really easy concept if you follow these rules up here. So let's take a couple of examples and, and see if we can't make this work. So here we have the limit of x squared minus 5 all over 2x squared plus 1. So here we're talking about this in this form. So we're, what we need to do is uh, dissect this to this a little bit. So here I'm going to look for the I'm going to look for the variable with the highest exponential value. And here we have x squared is here, so the value of n is 2, and the value of k, right, the k is down here, is k is here. Make sure that you have these things in descending order. And we see that they're equal, so I'm going to go down my chart and say, well, what happens if they are equal? And it says if n is equal to k, then the limit as x approaches infinity is equal to the ratio of the lead coefficients. Well, what's the coefficient of x squared? Well, that's 1. And what's the coefficient? Let me do it again. What's the coefficient of x squared? That's 1, isn't it? What's the coefficient of, of 2x squared? Is 2, so 1 over 2, so the limit here is 1 half. And if you tried this numerically, just by putting in really big numbers, you'd see that this actually does turn out to be true, but this is a great shortcut. Let's try this other example here. And here we have, uh, let's evaluate this one. So what is the limit here of x squared minus 5 over 2x? minus 5, whoops, sorry, minus 5 here, minus 5, as x approaches infinity. Well, again, we look for the values of n and k. The value of n is 2. The value of k is 1. So we, here we have n is greater than k, so we're at this rule right here, aren't we? And we know here that the, the limit is going to be positive or negative infinity. This is positive, right? And therefore, the limit here is going to be positive infinity. Again, this could, is most easily proved numerically, but if you didn't have time, this is a really, really great way of figuring this out quickly. This would be on the, uh, the AP calculus exam, the AB, uh, and this would be in multiple choice. And what they would do is they'd give you this equation, and they'd say, what is the limit? And you have to figure this out without a calculator. And if you just knew, know these little notes at the top, you could do this very, very quickly and move on to more difficult items. So, okay, let's try another one. And they're going to take here the limit of x minus 5 over 2x squared plus 1. Now look what happens. Here we have the n value is 1. The k value is, whoops, sorry, is 2 here. So we go back up here and we say, well, if n is less than k, right? If n is less than k, that would give us this rule up here, wouldn't it? It would give us this rule right here. And we would say that the limit here is 0. And again, we could prove this out numerically very, very easily. What we're going to find out is that this, the denominator is going to grow really, really quickly, and the numerator is going to grow less quickly. So a small number over a huge number approaches zero, doesn't it? 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 10, 1 over 1,000, 1 over a million, 1 over 10 million. So hopefully you can see that that value is approaching zero. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Take good notes uh, and prepare yourself.